When Victoria Father speaks, everyone listens. Stay tuned and let's talk about it. Welcome back to another episode of Ruthless TV, where I break down Tyler Perry's The Oval scene by scene. Now, let's get into this video. Victoria's father is a bit intimidating, wouldn't you say? When he speaks, they listen. Even Hunter's ears perk up a bit, in a bad way, but he still listens. On the last episode, he told them that he was dying and that he needed to meet with them. And of course, Hunter tried to weasel his way out of it, but her father didn't listen to any of that. He said he still had to come. I'm sure there are a number of things that he wants to discuss with them, mainly about Hunter's lackluster performance since he's been in the White House, right? Hunter has done absolutely nothing, not a zilch, since he's been there and the one board meeting that we saw him attend, he was eyeing Ella the whole time. But one of the demands that I think that he may include may in fact involve Jason. He may order them to get Jason some help or lock him behind a padded wall or something. And I say this because in episode 19, Victoria says that she will gladly hand him over on a platter. Hand him over to who? Then they, then they show a clip of Jason creeping again you know <laughs> and then hunter he chimes in and says you know he's not a serial killer and he's basically protecting the monster that they call their son then victoria makes the reference of jeffrey dahmer and charles manson comparing jason to these serial killers so i think that since her father knows everything and that he's pulling all the strings and calling all the shots he has to know about all the murders and all of hunter's shenanigans with every brown girl with two legs remember bear in mind that her mother is the one who actually took care of Jean's body remember they took Jean's body and put her in that chest and uh, Victoria said that she was going to have it taken to the airport and that her mom would take care of it from there so I'm sure that her dad knows exactly what's going on and, and who's doing everything so he's probably commanding or going to command that Hunter clean up the administration stop all the murders and because you know it's bringing a lot of heat to the administration and he's actually responsible for them being in the position in the first place so before he passes away he wants to make sure that his name is clear and that he's not involved with any of victoria and hunter's mess so i really think that one of these commands is going to be for them to get some help for jason and we can pretty much see where all of the dysfunction comes from her dad did in fact say that he was expecting Victoria to call him after his mom's passing, but she didn't even give him a call after that. Like, what moves this woman? Like, I don't understand. Like, and, and all of this dysfunction is trickling down to Jason and to Gail. So I really think that he's going to command that they get Jason some help, clean up the administration, and just, you know, go from there. Just to kind of lay low with all this mess. I mean, it's a whole lot going on, right? Anyway, what do you guys think? Drop me a note in the comments. And if you're an Oval fan and you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Ruthless TV, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.